Thanks for tuning into Terrain Bay. I'm Q Shooter. And the rifle she's holding is one that a lot of people don't even know exists because it's made by Henry Repeating Arms. And when I hear that name, I think of their beautiful brass receiver lever action rifles with octagonal barrels. But they also make this. It's a single shot European style bolt training rifle. It's called the Mini Bolt Youth and it's got a lot of upgrades that are standard compared to other rifles of its type. And that's why it's what's coming up next on Twang and Bang. The Mini Bolt Youth Rifle is a single shot bolt action rimfire chamber for 22 long rifle or 22 short. It's 11 and a half inch length of pull and three and a quarter pound weight make it a great platform for introducing youth to the fun and fundamentals of shooting. The stainless steel barrel is topped with Williams fire sights, which are metallic fiber optic sights with an orange dot front and two green dot rear. Given that these sights sell for about $60 street price, that's a considerable upgrade from the plastic black sights often found on many entry level rifles. And as you can see by that threaded hole, the barrels also tap for a cantilevered scope mount that's available separately. The bolt is European style with a nice spoon handle that's gentle on little hands. Cycling the bolt will extract and eject around, but it doesn't cock the action. That's done manually by pulling on the rear of the bolt about half an inch until it's locked in place. The round firing pin doubles as the ejector. Because of this, the firing pin is captured by a spring that greatly reduces the chance of a slam fire or a discharge due to impacts when loaded. The Mini Bolt Youth also has an external safety not found on older rifles of this type. Though I found that it serves little purpose during normal range use, it's great to have for the little hunter that might sit with the loaded rifle until a shot presents itself. The stock is one piece fiberglass synthetic with a raised comb that provides an excellent cheek weld and a checkered beaver tail forend for shooting offhand or from a support. The stock is actually very stiff and it avoids the cheap feel of some rimfire stocks. It's available in black as well as a really fantastic graphic called Muddy Girl Camouflage. The way my daughter put it, it's pink without being too girly. Whenever you're ready. Good job. Excellent. Okay, eject the shell. The rear sight is adjustable for windage and elevation, and you'll want to bring a small screwdriver with you to the range to make the necessary adjustments. The rifle shifts with the rear sight flush with the barrel, which means that you'll likely need to raise it quite a bit to get your point of impact on target. We found that the windage was perfect on both of our rifles. As you saw, I started my daughter shooting off bags, then transitioned to shooting from her elbows. This allowed her to focus first on side alignment, then on holding the mini bolt still as she became more comfortable with the rifle. Henry included their well padded cases made by Allen, and I was sure to incorporate uncasing and safety checking the rifles as part of my daughter's routine when we moved to a better place for practicing unsupported shooting. It's nice to see her pick up such good habits right away. Shot the same one? Yeah. Okay. I just... Do the different one this time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Super. Woo! -hoo. That was a nice one. Normally when it's laying down like this, I have the bolt open, but I have it closed to show you how to load it. So you open the bolt. Pick up a round, put it in there, close the bolt, cock it, aim, and then when you're ready, pull the trigger. <laughs> so we're obviously having a lot of fun making this video because mm -hmm. we are messing up so many times and it's getting really late. But we spent a lot of time shooting this rifle. I took her to the range. I had already put about 50, 60 rounds through both of these rifles just to make sure they were working out okay. And that's just a smart thing to do for mm. safety. Uh, but she put 140 rounds through this rifle, one shot at a time, over four hours of shooting. And you obviously had a good time because you put up with all of that. What, what do you think of the rifle? It was really good. What was your favorite part about shooting this rifle compared to other rifles? It was light. That's probably why you were able to shoot offhand for so long. This is actually the first time that she had a rifle that had iron sights. We've been using scopes up to this point and actually a red dot a little bit. Uh, what did you think about the sights? They were really good. Well, what was it about the sights that you liked? 
Um, the orange dot was visible in between the two green dots. So it made it easier to line line out the sides, yeah. right? And clearly, if you watch the video, she actually had a really easy time lining up the sights to hit the different targets. There's the street price of these is about two hundred and twenty-five dollars, and at first that might sound like a lot compared to other rifles of this kind. But when you factor in the fact that it's stainless steel, that it's got the Williams sights that. The street price of those is about $60 just for that, and it's a common upgrade. And the amount of craftsmanship that goes into these rifles compared to other rifles. I mean, really, when you hold these, you can see that Henry Repeating Arms puts as much of themselves into one of these rifles as they do the rifles that they make that cost 10 times as much. So I think it's actually a really good value for what you get. If you want to learn more about the Henry Bolt Youth, be sure to click the link in the video description below. Be sure to check out my Facebook page at fb.com forward slash twangandbang.net and that's spelled out d-o-t-n-e-t i'm doing a whole lot more with the facebook page i'm posting videos and photos of the stuff that i'm testing and evaluating before i get done and do the videos that you see here on youtube i'm also posting deals and discount codes as i get them and be sure to click right here to subscribe so you can catch my next videos on bows guns and other cool stuff that i'm doing with cuter shooter like this mini bolt youth I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang, and we hope to see you next time. <laughs> You're a good kid. <laughs>